Hello everybody. Thank you for watching my video again. Today we're going to do a core training. Before we start, make sure you grab a support bag just to add some weight for some exercises. I'm going to explain to you guys what I think the core is. After that, I'll show you what we're going to do today and we're going to get it started. Let's go. Core training. What is core training? Core is pretty hard to define. There's a lot of different uh, scientists who have a different meaning of the core. Uh, there's a lot of different types of training you can do in the gym that is all involving the core. For my understanding, the core is all the muscles that attach to your pelvis. I can explain a little bit more about this, but I think it's going to get too technical. If you want to know more about it, contact me and I'll explain to you, not a problem. Um, but for me, the core is all the muscles that attach to the pelvis. So yes, these are the abdomen, these are your back muscles, but also leg muscles, also butt muscles. It would be pretty illogical to not train your legs and your butt if you go for core training. So we're not only going to do sit-ups, we're also going to do big movements where we train our legs and our butt. Get ready, we're going to start. Okay, so how is my core training going to look like? We're going to do big movements. Compound exercise. Exercises where you use your whole body, but your core has to be engaged. So don't fool, don't get fooled. Um, you're gonna train your abs by doing a squat. After the compound exercise, we'll do a core exercise where we want to focus on the deep core muscles. After that one, we're gonna go for rotations, so we train our obliques. And all the way in the end of the video, I will post a short explanation on old school ab exercises. The exercises everybody probably knows and if you want to skip and only want to train your abs because you don't have a lot of time then skip to the last few minutes of this training. If you have enough time go for the whole training so we train our whole body that is how our core is meant to function. Okay, first exercise is going to be the squat. With the squat, we're also going to train our core. What do I want you to pay attention on? We're going to keep our arms up. You can grab a towel in between the arms. Keep the arms up and backwards. We're going to go down in the squat. Make sure your arms don't fall to the front. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into a squat. Your arms are going to stay back. Don't make your arms go to the front. If you keep your arms backwards, and if you contract your abs, pulling in your belly button, you're gonna go down and try and keep your lower back straight. We don't want to see a huge arch in your lower back. We want it to be straight. That's gonna be the first exercise. Arms up, tension on your core, Lower back is straight, not excessively arched. Okay, second exercise from our first set. This is going to be a modified plank. It's not going to be a regular plank like, like you're used to. It's going to be a little bit different. What I want you to try is to go on your elbows and your knees. Don't go on your feet yet. We can do that later. First, elbows and knees. Even though if you're experienced, start with this one. The knees go back a little bit, your body goes to the front a little bit, and then try and stay straight. Okay, we're going to do the third exercise from the first set. This will be a bicycle crunch. What we're going to do is we're going to go on the ground on our back. Our hands go behind our head, and we're going to pull one knee to the opposite elbow. Extend the opposite leg and try and keep a nice rhythm. Yes.
find a sport bag, put some stuff in it, make it nice and heavy, where you think you can still do this exercise properly. What we're going to do, we're going to stand shoulder width apart, slightly bend your knees, and we're going to lower the weight in front of our legs. We're going to go to the ground with the weight and come back up. Go to the ground, come back up. We're going to have our feet off the ground and we're going to have our arms extended to the ceiling. One leg extends to the ground, the opposite arm extends to the ground. Back to the middle and switch side. Back to the middle and switch side. Very important with this exercise is to move slowly and contract your core. Pull in your belly button. And we're going to go on the knees. Make sure that your body is straight. So push your hips to the front. And from here we're going to go up with the body and down. We're going to go up and down.
We're going to lay on our back. We're going to extend the legs. Lift up the feet from the ground and make a scissor movement with your legs. Important is to keep your lower back in the ground. It will look something like this. Okay, done. Okay, the second exercise will be the V-ups. What we're going to do is we're going to lay on the ground. We're going to extend our legs upwards in an angle where we can still keep our lower back fixed on the ground. If you have your legs too much to the ground, you will probably have a hard time with pushing your lower back to the ground. Lift up your feet a little bit more to the ceiling, push your lower back to the ground, hold the legs where they are, and we're just going to tap with the hands towards the feet. You don't have to touch them, you just want to lift up the shoulders. And it will look something like this. Okay, and the third exercise that I got for you is the bear walk. The bear walk, not that.
we got all the sets done. Now we're going to do a cool down. Just repeat after me. Go stand nice and wide. Pick one arm and reach overhead. Try and relax. Feel the stretch of this, this side of the body and just relax. We want to stretch for a good 20 to 30 seconds. And we're going to go to the other side. Okay, we're going to put our arms up, breathe in, let your arms fall down, and breathe out. And try and relax. We're going to do that once more, try and reach backwards now, breathe in, and relax. Okay, we're going to go on the ground. Go on your knees and I want you to sit on your heels of the foot and lay your arms extended on the ground. Now push yourself up from your hands and look to the ceiling. back in this first position and once more to the front Push your shoulder back, look up to the sky, and feel the stretch on your abs. Okay. I'm going to sit with one foot extended, try and reach to your front foot. Also hold it for a good 20 to 30 seconds. And we're going to switch sides. See if you can reach your toes. If not, that's fine. Make sure you feel stretch on your hamstring, the back side of your leg. Place the bottom of the foot together, grab your toes, and with your elbows you're going to slightly push your knees down. Feel some stretch in your groin. Okay, this was the last exercise of my cool down. You made it to the end of my video, so I hope your abs are burning right now. I know mine are for sure. Next time I got a whole new training for you, so make sure you stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.